everyone, thank you for slithering in. Today we are doing another speed build. And for those who of you who may not know, I am Simtherin and I am so happy that you came by today to check out what we've got going on. So what we've got going on is, I'm not sure what I'm calling it yet, but it's kind of like a cottage, bohemian, colorful, plant crazy, build. Um, it started off as a reference photo f that went wrong and I bulldozed it. So here we are. But while I put the cheats in, give us a like and subscribe, ring the bell, all that fun stuff. All of this really helps and tells the YouTube algorithm to basically show off this video more and my channel more. And I definitely encourage you to do that for all of your favorite YouTubers. I know I'm doing the same, so that's that. We got that out of the way. So now, as you can see, we are in Strangerville at the moment, but at some point later on, you are going to see a jump into Glimmerbrook because this build came out a lot more magical than I intended and all of a sudden it didn't seem to fit in this world anymore. However, I really, 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 really want to build in this world at some point and maybe I will be pretty soon. Time will tell. I've got some projects in the works, so keep your eyes peeled and follow me over on the social media channels for announcements and sneak peeks. There are a couple of collabs that I am doing and I would love for you guys to check those out in the near future. But the build I originally did, I had a reference photo and I really wanted to replicate it to the T, but I couldn't. And it was pretty, it's a pretty intricate reference. Um, I'm going to try and remember to put it up on the screen here for you. I saw it on Pinterest and fell in love with it. But no matter what I did, it wasn't working. I mean, maybe I'll go back to it and eventually get it to work. Kind of bulldozed it though. But maybe I can try again. That's all I'm saying. I, mean, I can always try again. Uh, but yeah, here we've got this tower. This tower was a part of the last build and I had covered it in greenery, so I knew I definitely wanted to have a tower moment. And this speed build is actually a little shorter than my videos usually are. Probably only about by five minutes or so, but I do not show any of the interior decorating except for one little nook in the back pop out. Um, that, yeah, that's the only one I show because I knew I wanted to try a shorter version and personally I find the exterior parts of speed builds a lot more interesting and I feel like I learned the most from the exterior parts. That's just me, but let me know down in the comments below your opinions. Should I keep them? Should I cut out parts of the exterior to keep videos shorter? I'm flexible and I'm willing to experiment and try different ways of doing it. But here we are. We are adding all the greenery on the tower. And I'm not quite sure when we make the jump. You know what else we can talk about? We can talk about what is happening in the Sims community next week. So this video is coming out on Friday the 22nd and on the 26th, dun dun dun, we're getting a new stuff pack and I haven't, like I said, too much on social media or anything. I haven't even talked about it in my videos yet. So I am excited. Um, I love spooky things and the paranormal kind of, you know, occult stuff. Like there's going to be a seance tape. This It's going to be awesome. I don't know yet when or how much of the gameplay I will do. 
I do want to get around to it. Like, I want to get around to a lot of the other gameplay stuff in the game in general. But I've been spending all my time building, and that's that. But I am working on this weekend a build that is actually going to be the speed build will be on that Monday before the paranormal and it's going to be a spooky build and it's like it's October again and Halloween and that makes me happy but I'm not going to give too much away it's a pretty big build so I've got some work ahead of me I've started with the shell already and it is based off of a movie Slash TV. Sh I mean, there's a lot of spinoffs, I guess. You can call TV show, movie, all of that. But for me, the movie is close and dear to my heart and my childhood. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. But here I am. I get rid of a lot of some of the flowers on the build. And it doesn't go all the way around. Because I didn't want to do overkill. But... Here we are playing with some terrain paint and getting some landscaping done. I went into debug, of course, because I love debug landscaping. And I used these brick walls to kind of fence the build in a little bit because I did want it to feel a little private because there was also another reference picture I saw on Pinterest of this little seating area underneath the tree and I believe I have footage of that so I might hold off talking about it for now but it's very magical very bohemian and I want to go and chill out there uh, right now there's a weird back porch thing going on don't worry that does not stay that back door doesn't even stay um, Especially when I move this onto another lot. It just... The whole, um... I had to rotate the build, the house. Oh, here we are with this little seating area under the tree. So, I will also try my best to remember to put a image right up here so you can see what I was going for. But basically, lots of pillows, lots of clutter... Lots of comfy vibes and rugs, because rugs on grass, it might be my new favorite thing. This is actually my favorite part of the entire build, and I hope you like it, because it was... When I saw the image, I was like, I need to do this. I can't not do it. I can't. And it turned out really cool. Um... I really like it and then when I added the pond over there it just kind of filled up that space. The other side of the yard is a little empty but I thought that was okay. I mean maybe the sim doesn't want to use the whole yard. On the other side there's some gardening pots there is a well and there is some outdoor laundry so your sim can do laundry. Um, while I was building it, I did start thinking of a personality for the sim. Uh, I think this sim is just, like, a lone wolf. A, not too lone of a wolf. I think they have probably a really close-knit group of friends, and that's why they have this cool seating area here, where they just all hang out and discuss art and culture and all that fun deep, meaningful life kind of stuff, you know? I should have put a bubble blower in this build. I think it would have fit. Yeah, missed opportunity. But I think we're going to move inside and start decorating that one little area in just a little bit. Um, the yeah, the Sim is very eclectic and colorful and artistic and just a pretty cool person. I would... I mean, I would say, I guess, um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely Friday, welcome to the weekend, and this wall here, I end up putting an archway, but that does end up getting deleted, because I like the more open feel of 
the little glass room back there. And I guess maybe, like, maybe the previous um, owner of this home maybe had a wall there and used that room as a green room and plants planted, like, their plants and stuff. Planted their plants and stuff. Nice. Um, but I think this sim was like, knock the walls down and it's gonna be my little art corner. But it turned out pretty nice, I would say. I like it. Well, enough rambling from me. We are ending, nearing the end of the speed build portion of this video. Uh, thanks for joining me today. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Then subscribe if you haven't already and would like to see some more builds and videos from me. But that's it for today, friends. Until next time, and remember, never tickle a sleeping dragon. Bye!